question on Science Uncovered is why do we get travel sick? Motion sickness, or kinetosis as it is sometimes known, is a condition whereby people can feel nauseous or dizzy when they ride in a car, on a boat, or when they perceive certain movements. sickness is most often thought to happen when conflict occurs between your visual perception and your sense of balance. Your brain receives contrasting information between the two and this causes symptoms of motion sickness. Yeah, roller coaster. Um, I do get travel sick occasionally, definitely on planes and roller coasters always make me feel really ill. I'm not sure whether it's motion sickness, but I got travel sick in a car quite a lot. But I wouldn't know whether that's what's actually causing it. Yes. On boats, I do. I get travel sick sometimes. In a car. Bus, actually. Yeah. This conflict of perceptual information occurs when you travel because your eyes perceive one set of stimuli, whilst the vestibular system in your inner ear perceives another. There are two distinct ways that this can occur. Firstly, when you travel in a car, your sensory input from your eyes is mostly conveying the motionless interior. You may even be interacting with motionless objects, such as reading a book. This means that your brain is being told by the visual stimuli that you are stationary. However, your vestibular system can detect the movements that are made by the car as it turns or goes over bumps in the road. This then informs your brain that you are moving, creating the sensation that we know as motion sickness. This can also happen in reverse, so when you watch something moving, for instance on TV, your eyes detect the movement. However, as you yourself are virtually motionless, your vestibular system doesn't detect the movement, and this again can create the feelings of motion sickness. The reason that your sense of balance doesn't match up with your visual input is because of your vestibular system, which lies in the inner ear. It has also been found that without this structure, motion sickness doesn't even occur. The structure itself includes the utricle, the saccule, and the three semicircular canals. The utricle and the saccule are responsible for perceiving gravity and linear movements, whilst the semicircular canals, which are filled with a fluid called endolymph, detect rotational movement. When the head is tilted or rotates, the direction is sensed by a specific canal and a pressure is exerted on the corresponding sensory receptor by the fluid inside. Thus, the vestibular system keeps track of your body and your head movements and helps you to control your balance and spatial orientation when you move. Furthermore, there is a third sensory system in our bodies which contributes to our perception of motion. It is the sense of proprioception. The stretch and pressure receptors in the surrounding tissues of our skin and muscles sends information to the brain when any movement occurs. For instance, in the ankles the receptors indicate the sway or motion of the body compared to the surface on which it's standing. There are various remedies to curing travel sickness. One way that people can ease the sensation is by changing the visual stimuli, such as looking out of the car window when travelling. But there are some types of medication which can decrease the feelings of nausea. These work by blocking some of the neural activity from the vestibular system to the brain, or by blocking some of the neural activity which controls vomiting. Furthermore, you can also wear wristbands which apply pressure to the areas associated with relieving nausea. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to watch any of our previous Science Uncovered videos, then just click on the link. If you'd like to get in contact with us, then please do so on our Facebook or Twitter page.